This is the world's first street semaphore, or traffic light. Gas-powered, it used signals to direct horse-drawn carriages outside Parliament. Unfortunately, it exploded, injuring a police officer, and was scrapped. And it wasn't until 60 years later, with the rise of the motor vehicle, congestion was an issue even then, that London got its first electric traffic lights. This is the same junction where in 1925 those first electric traffic lights were installed and there are now 6,300 of them in the capital. Uh, representing the city of Westminster, I inaugurate this new traffic system of signals. Electric traffic lights quickly spread. This was Trafalgar Square ten years later and not everyone is a fan. Sometimes you'll be stuck at a light for a certain amount of time. A week later you go there, there's roadworks further down the line, you get caught even longer at them. So go to the one at Ludgate Circus, have a count of how long you're at them red lights for. Are they a necessary evil though, or I mean, what's the answer? Get someone that knows what they're doing, the TFL. There's nothing you can do, is it? Just got to put up with it. There's too many lights, aren't there? Is there? Yeah. TFL though say that over half of the lights are now automatically controlled by a central computer and they reduce congestion and smooth traffic flow. About 4,500 are smart traffic lights. They use detectors in the road to take information back to a central computer, which then channels that through an algorithm to decide how much green time different traffic signals get and link signals together to ensure you get progression along the road. So traffic lights are here to stay, and as a way of controlling the roads, it all began in London. <laughs> 